Hello, welcome back to into today's second video. We're going to have a look at when it's uh, weekday days. In today's second video, uh, we'll also extend out beyond that CFSB2 into the start of July. Um, now, I've already done an update on uh, the fund potential coming up later on today. So that's on the Stormwatch page. And uh, there is going to be some big thunderstorms around today. I think particularly later this afternoon and into this evening. If you don't know where and when, um, go to Stormwatch. You'll be able to see all about today's uh, thundery activity possibilities. I say, this is going to be having a look at when it's week to 10 days. Um, it's going to be turning cooler and more unsettled as we go through into uh, the weekend and then next week uh, looking quite unsettled indeed. I'll show you the charts in a second. Before I get on with that, just very quickly to say about the ads at Gadsworth. This has links to articles on all the pages. If you can have a browse through widgets and click through the links, you'll be happy to pay for our website. Thanks very much for doing that. This video adds the most of pages, which own our content when you watch them. It goes back at the end does help to pay for gasworthies.com. For it to start off with the central England temperature from uh, Hadley, this is provisional up to uh, the 6th. Um, so we currently stand at 14.8, which is an anomaly of 1.4 degrees above average. Uh, so it's been a pretty warm start to June, you have to say. There we go, 14.8, uh, anomaly of 1.4, uh, provisional to the six. It has been a warm start June, but June forecast was for uh, a significantly warmer than average month, so um, I'm hoping that it's going to carry on uh, for the rest of the month. Um, but actually, as I say, it does look quite a bit cooler and more unsettled as we go through into uh, next week. Follows on from what was quite a warm May, of course. These are the GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks, dealing with temperatures first of all. Um, uh, so red line here is the 30-year temperature average, and we are above average at the moment. You have to stay that way for the rest of this week. Into the weekend, dates on the bottom of the graph of the uh, course. Into the weekend and next week, we get a drop in the temperature. Uh, nothing really cold or cool showing up there, but going back towards uh, average. The most alarming thing about this is the precipitation. So this spike just here is associated with the thunderstorms that's uh, coming up to, uh, later uh, today and into tonight. Then we get a drier uh, slot through the rest of the week. Uh, but we go through into the weekend and next week and look how the precipitation spikes come back. Some big, big spikes showing up there through uh, the middle part of June. That's indicating a lot of rain um, next week. So although the upper air temperatures are only going down to average, because there's going to be quite a lot of rain, actually it could be really quite cool at times through the course of next week. If it's dull and overcast, then uh, obviously that's going to limit the potential um, temperature potential during the day. Uh, but that's a lot of rain coming up next week, so it does look as though if your garden is waiting to have a drink and you miss today's thunderstorms, uh, it looks like there should be some rain on the way over the weekend and into next week. Temperature anomaly from the 7th through to 15th of June, generally coming out a bit warm on average. That takes into account uh, the warm weather that we've got through the rest of this week, of course, today through to Friday, and the temperatures start to drop away as we go through the weekend and next week. Precipitation normally coming out wetter than average pretty much for the whole of the country. That's going to trend wetter, I would think, over the next few days. Um, so just have a look at the generic charts. This is for GFS and low pressure for Saturday. Low pressure is starting to move in off the Atlantic on Saturday, but I don't get through to Sunday. We're in an unsettled pattern there. Low pressure breaking through, but winds are going into west, so return of the west layers, and uh, outbreaks of rain will be spilling across the country. And we go through into next week, this is Monday the 13th, this is Tuesday the 14th, low pressure taking over the pattern across the northern and western parts of Europe, quite a deep trough, parked over the top of the country, expect showers or longer spells of rain, and that continues into the middle part of next week. As well, no change into the second half of next week. We end up on day 10, which is uh, Friday the 17th of June. Still with low pressure, very much in control around the northwest of Europe. So again, expect shower longer spells of rain. The heat is pushing over towards the east of Europe. We've got this ridge here in the southeast of Europe, uh, which will be pulling very hot air out of North Africa in towards Italy, the Balkans, and uh, some northeastern parts of Europe probably next week. But in the northwest, we turn cooler and more unsettled. 
the uh, EWF backs all of this up. So um, Saturday, we've got showers here breaking out across the country, maybe some longer spells of rain. And then through Sunday into Monday, low pressure rolls in off the Atlantic. So I expect cloud and outbreaks of rain to be moving in from the west. Uh, significantly cooler temperatures coming in with this as well, of course. And then through the course of next week, it just stays unsettled. Low pressure remains around the north and the west of Europe into the middle part of next week. There's no change into uh, the end of next week. This is day 10, Friday 17th of June. Low pressure generally clearing a little bit towards central parts of Europe. It pulls the winds back into the north. It goes out a lot of easterly Northeasterly winds recently, the East MWF by day 10 takes the wind back into the east of the northeast. That would be quite cold or quite cool, and uh, there'd be showery bursts of rain as well. Possibly signs of a little bit of a ridge building out to the west of the country. Um, but that looks quite transient. This trough here would probably put uh, that ridge under pressure and uh, just generally roll in over the top. I would have thought a bit like that, um, flattening off any ridge it tries to develop. Uh, so how long could this go on for, this um, westerly and more unsettled spell of weather? Let's, uh, let's have a look at the CFS V2 for the uh, next month before I go. These are the 500 millibar height anomalies broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from the 7th to the 13th of June, so the week that we are currently in. Um, we find above average heights here extending down through the country, so uh, ridging around, low pressure generally blocked off uh, to the Atlantic and doing something a bit like that. Um, remember, of course, we get through to weekend, it starts to break down, but uh, for a few days anyway, that looks about right. Now, week two, which is the 14th through to the 20th of June, Look at this, huge switch around, deep trough of low pressure becomes centred over the top of the UK. The uh, ridge pulls out into the Atlantic and the jet stream does that. So we go on to the cool side of the jet there through this middle part of June, significantly more unsettled as well with this trough of low pressure. Cool and wet basically sums it up there for mid-June. However, we go through to week three, this is the 21st through to 27th of June, and we start to see signs of a change then. The trough of low pressure moves northwards and becomes centred towards Greenland and Iceland with a ridge building from the Azores to the south. So this is an improving picture. Still probably quite unsettled. Still the jet stream coming through a bit like that. But uh, gradually with time, I think it would be improving from the south of the west as that ridge starts to build back from the Azores. And then by the time we go through to week four, which is the 28th of June, through to the 4th of July. Look at this, we're back under a ridge of high pressure. So, um, definite improvements there as we get through to the second half of uh, June, particularly the last stages. Definite improvements there with this ridge building back in from the Atlantic. Probably won't be all that warm because the flow is still doing something like that. So, still generally coming from a northwesterly direction. Um, so, wouldn't expect a heat wave necessarily, but certainly improvements there. Uh, for the latter stages of June and into the start of July. So we're going to get this more unsettled spell next week. That looks definite now, I think. So um, just going to get through that, really. And then as we go through to the latter stages of June, um, still signs that we get a decent improvement with uh, summer conditions returning probably for the end of month and into uh, the start of July. That's how it's looking uh, for uh, today. Uh, tomorrow, it's a five-day forecast, and we'll also have a look at the Asian Climate Centre for uh, for the coming month. Probably we'll do Stormwatch as well, so uh, lots of updates coming up tomorrow. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.